Hi, my name is Alicia Zach, and I'm a librarian here at Saddleback. Today I'm going to show you how to sign into your library account online, where you can view and renew checked out items, view items you've placed on hold, and view your late finds. You can get to the library account sign-in link from the home page of the library at saddleback.edu slash library. You can also get to your library account link by performing a search in the catalog at the center of the page on our website. Once inside the catalog, you will see the sign-in link at the top of the page. Like many of our resources, you will use your Blackboard username and password to access your account. Once you sign in, you will stay on the page you were searching, but now you can see the sign in button has changed to your name. Click on the button for options such as entering your account and viewing your saved searches. Choose My Account. There are three tabs with different account information. The first tab shows the items that you have checked out on your account. This lists the title and the date the item is due back to the library. You will also see a button for renewing your items if you need something for additional time. Remember, your items will renew 28 days from the date you click on the Renew button, not from the original due date. Renewing too soon could cause you to lose out on some time. The next tab will list the items that you've placed on hold. You will see the title of the item on hold, what place in line you are for the item, and the time frame or schedule that the hold will be available. You can see that my hold begins on February 2nd, 2017, the date I put the item on hold. If a person is in front of me in the hold queue and they don't return the book before the expiration date of my hold on March 2nd, my hold will automatically expire. If you no longer need the item you've placed on hold and you have not been notified the item is waiting for you, you can remove the item from your list simply by clicking the Remove button. Once the hold is ready for you, we will hold it for you at the circulation desk for seven days. The last tab is for fines on late items or lost items. You can see what the fine is for, how late your item was returned, and the total amount due. You can only accumulate up to $5 in late fines before your library privileges are suspended. Unpaid fines can result in a freeze of your student account as well, so it will affect things like registration. Be sure to renew items you think will be late or return them on time. You cannot pay for your fines online at this time, so you must either visit the circulation desk on the third floor of the LRC or call the circulation desk to pay for any fines you've accrued. That's the end of this video. If you have any questions, come see us at the reference desk, call us, or chat with us online.